What's up, everybody? This is Adrian. If you need anything web scraped, email me, adrian at thewebscrapingguide.com. And today we are going to be scraping tic the TikTok Creative Center or the TikTok Ad Library. So, firstly, and another advantage about web scraping too. So they only show you four ads here. So this is, yeah, ads.tiktok.com slash business slash creative center. But if you want, and so, yeah, if you want to get more, then you have to click on view more, but they're going to make you sign up. But with scraping, so we can actually scrape the first 400 results of these. So pretty awesome. And if you want to get more than that, then you just have to type in like different keywords, different um, filters and get more. So let's go so first things first we're going to inspect element go to the network tab kind of clear everything and then we are going to yeah go to fetch xhr and see what we can find here if those ads show up so this looks like it is it and boom that is it so materials yeah, it has all those ads right there so what we're going to do is copy as node fetch Oops, not that one. And then we're just gonna go to const res equals await paste and then that auto copilot fill that in. And then we're just gonna run node uh, demo.js. Boom. So then if we type in json.data.materials at all those videos oh but we actually want to i want to show the pagination as well so we have page one size 20 total count 400 so if we change this to page let's just uh, let's say page 10 then boom we have it right there and if you try to uh increase the limit then it's not gonna like that so we're gonna keep it at 20. And if you ever wanna like uh, check out the keywords or use the keywords, then all you do is yeah, just see what happens when you fire that off or when you click on that. So this fires off. And then in the parameters, you'll have keyword right here. So you just need to include that parameter in your URL if you want to search. And just looking initially at this, so yeah, what if we get rid of a cookie? That works. But just initially, yeah, I'm kind of seeing like this CSERF token, so that looks interesting. These headers are unique and they will play a role later. But for now, we are getting the search, so let's go ahead and uh, just We're not going to use that. Oh, whatever. Doesn't matter. Try catch. And I like to say error facts. Yep, nice. And we need the message. And then let's go ahead and move all that out there. And then we just want to return those ads. searching for anything. Sometimes this co-pilot kills me, guys. And we want to call these things ads. So if we run demo.js again, boom. So you get these things, which is a little bit limited. So let's check out the cover of this video. Oh, look at that dashing guy. So we want to get the individual ad details now. So let's clear that. And then we want, yeah, the ad details here. So we're gonna click on this. Sweet, we have all of this good stuff. Likes, CTR, blah, 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 landing page. So we're just gonna come here and inspect, same thing, same thing, refresh. And then a ton of things get fired off. So to, uh, oh, I think that was it right there. Detail. Boom. 
So this is a limited time offer, 50% now. Yep, add caption, brand name, trade puff. Yep, boom. So let's go copy as node fetch. And const res equals paste, same deal every time. And then let's comment that out, everything like that. Boom. So then if we look at the cover, so this should be the, yeah, the green thing. Boom. And then we have likes to, to, what was that? Oh, so it just it goes 2K. So 2,200, 335 shares, boom, CTR. Uh, I don't know where that is. Yeah, boom, right there. Sweet. So let us do async function. Yeah, oh, nice. And we're just going to call it IMD actually. And then same dealio. And then we're going to move that one up. Uh, yeah, that's fine. And we don't need the cookie. And let's make sure we're actually calling the add detail or the add ID. We don't care about that. Okay, super. So then let's go ahead and nope, it's actually just going to be the ID. Let's just go ahead and call that right away. And then log the detail. And call that boom. Whoa, tons of stuff. Yeah, it looks like we have it. So all the freshest shows in one place. Oh, looks like we have a Hulu one. Boom. Let's check out this Hulu one. So the cover looks like they just returned that one. So that's from the search. And then this is from the detail. Cover. Same thing. And then if we want, let's go back and refresh the Hulu one. If, oh. I think should be the first. Hmm. That's not the first one. Well. Oh well. Huh, that's interesting. Ads first one. And it's well whatever we got the Hulu one so then if you ever actually want to check out the video then we just go here murder yeah Woo, super loud and if you ever want to go to the actual URL of it so let's try this one and all we really need is just the ID that's what it is right there so here's the ID And boom, there's that. So 73, yep, 1,000 likes, 14 shares, yep. So then if we want to get like the these graphs and stuff, yeah, and that's uh, basically what you're going to do to get all the ad detail and all the ads. Uh, and then, yeah, obviously paginate with uh, like page, yeah, what I just showed. And then to get this, Inspect as always, always what we're gonna do. Word on the street is our trick shots are fake. Oh my god, that was loud. Um, and we're gonna go here and see. Okay, so it looks like yeah, that gets uh, yeah, access is limited for on on authentic on authentic on authenticated users. Jeez, that was hard. Yeah, auth tokens, blah, 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 blah. So it looks like I'm making too many requests. So, but it looks like we can still access that. And I actually, yeah, I've kind of cheated. Like you're gonna go through all of these and see, but I know it's keyframes. And you can see like, hmm. <laughs> Analysis, yeah, retain CTR. So this looks like CTR analysis. So let's just check this. So I can't see anything. CTR for two seconds is 24. 
Oh, so 0.24, so they're just multiplying. Four is 11. Four is 11. Boom, so that's it. So then if we want to get that, then you do the same thing. Copy as node, fetch, blah, 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 blah. And if we click on these other ones, then requests get fired off and they're all keyframes. So, yep, same thing. So if you want to get all of them, then that's exactly what you do for um, everything. Yeah, and it looks like it is freaking out because I'm making too many requests. So, and if you ever, yeah, so if that happens, then you just need to proxy the URL. So if you do proxy, and then I have this uh, git, or no, sorry, not proxy, it's agent. Get proxy agent. Um, and then I have my own um, function that gets that. And I'm not going to show you it because I have all my IPs and kind of passwords there. So you won't be able to get that. So that's if they are blocking your request, then you just proxy it to another IP. Um, What do we else do we want to do here? Oh, yeah. So say we want to get uh the search and it might not let me because it, it i'm making too many requests and these will eventually expire so i'm going to get rid of them so if we say no demo.js um let's see if it'll let me do it or if we I think it's expired nope still won't awesome but yeah if we get rid of them you saw that it doesn't work so eventually those will expire. So the question is, yeah, how do we get the rest of those? And normally what you're going to want to do is those, like they have to come from somewhere. And usually they will come from a response from another uh, thing. So either an API response or just the actual page. So if you go to the actual home page, and then a lot of times on the first on the HTML page in the headers the headers will be returned with those items but here they actually don't do that I don't think or they'll be in the cookie somewhere and so if you're using like you can just fetch the page and then just um, parse the cookies or the headers to get that information but I can't seem to find that and if I look for See list right here, and then let's just look for like the web ID. And if we just search, um, you know, okay, we get some information, but it's just all they're all on the request, and that will I'll show you how we're gonna get that. But it would be better if those were on the responses, because then I wouldn't have to use Puppeteer. So this is I'm a big advocate of not using Puppeteer. But in this instance, we are going to use it, but just for a little bit. And so I'll show you that shortly. But here, like the access token, like, okay. So here it is, but it's in the request, as you can see right here. Uh, so we want this to actually be in the responses and it doesn't look like it's in the response anywhere. And yeah, I'm not even sure what this does because they don't, um, expires in here, but they don't actually pass this up you know, we're not using that in the API request. So kind of interesting. I'm not exactly sure what that's for. So I'm looking here and like so far I can't find it. And maybe if I looked in another page, you know, maybe they return that somewhere, but, uh, but I don't know, I just to save time, then I can see that this gets fired off, right? When we just refresh this page. So we don't have to do anything. We just automatically get this as well as these other ones, but we're just gonna pick access, this access token, um, route right now and they return yeah, the web ID you can't see this but this the CSERF token and the timestamp so uh, what we're gonna do is just intercept intercept these from the request using puppeteer and how we do that and so th that's why so we're only going to use puppeteer to get those variables and then we're going to store them for the rest of our requests so anytime that we boot this up, then we get fresh, uh, we get the fresh user sign timestamp and web ID. And it lasts long enough where we can make all of our requests or like if it ever uh, runs out, then you can just get another one, but like programmatically, obviously like very, very nice. And then just use those. 
So we wouldn't want to use Puppeteer for everything because, yeah, like using browsers, like terrible experience, uh, break all the time, a lot of, they use a lot of data. They're huge, hard to work with. But for this, it's like, well, if this is the only thing that we have to do, like not that big of a deal, then we store those and then use them on every like subsequent API query. So we're gonna intercept these from that access token request. And how we do that is in Puppeteer, you await page.set request interception true. And then here are those variables. And then you do page on request and then it is a callback. And then this is really important. So if you don't have request.continue, then the page will just hang because you're not letting the requests continue. So you're just like stopping them and yeah, the page just stops. So you get the URL with request.url, and then if the URL includes access token, which is this one here, and you can see URL, access token, then get the headers. And that, as you can see right here, here are request headers. I think I collapsed them. And then request headers. And then all you have to do is, yeah, just pluck them off and then assign it to those items. And then, then you're gonna to go to the page. So we're just gonna to go to the home page, wait till network idle two, and then just immediately close the pages, close the browser and return those items. And then we are going to just pass those as params to the other, or to the other API calls. And then we have it like right here, timestamp, user sign and web ID. So if you wanna see that in action right here, we're gonna do a node, we're gonna run node tiktok.js. And yep, it's gonna take a while because browser automations and puppeteer take a while. That's exactly why we want to avoid those. And boom, right there, user sign, timestamp, and web ID, and res.status. So we're calling the search and getting all those results. So that's 20 results, 20 results, and taking a little bit of time for the other one. So who cares, not the point of this video. Uh, but that's how you do it. So if you need anything else web scraped, email me, adrian at the guy.com. And if you want me to make videos on something else to scrape, uh, drop a comment in the comments. Maybe I will make a video about it. So good luck.